The need for an aircraft independent of huge airfields is being met today by the helicopter, which can land in any area big enough for its whirling rotor. She's just a love to fly. Beautiful, beautiful helicopter. Very easy to fly. Very forgiving machine. This is really the primary training helicopter of all helicopters, the Bell 47. My father was in aviation. I started very young. Every airplane I learned to fly in, my dad would check me out in the airplanes. I traded for it with my father about 25 years ago. We didn't know it was in MASH, the TV series. It was in Tucson, working on it. Ended up bringing it to Reno, and I met a gentleman by the name of Adrian Grevy. He worked for the FAA in Reno, and we were talking and mentioned the end number, and I said, that's my helicopter, and then he told me it flew in MASH, and he owned the helicopter when it flew from MASH, and a Screen Guild pilot uh, flew it during the MASH series. It was just pretty cool, and then starting to research it and work with Adrian and find the platforms that were correct and the stretchers and build the canopies and, and try to go by the pictures and what Adrian's information had to make it more as authentic as I could to represent how it was. There was three helicopters that flew in MASH, Two are gone over the years in wrecks. This is the only one surviving and left. Adrian helped me outfit it with everything that's on it. And I searched for the stretcher platforms, the stretchers. I built the canopies that are on the front of the stretchers with my crew chief, Bob Bryson. It took us 24 hours straight in my hangar building them. And uh, I got a sample from uh, original from Bellingham Air Museum. They loaned me one so I could build the canopies for this. And then I built the engine covers, the star and bar, and everything else that's on there. The blue throttle grip there that you see it's easy to pick that out in the show. Adrian told me the whole interior used to be blue, so the show, they just put an army blanket over the blue seats and nobody knew the difference. The, the first flight was December 8, 1945. It was the first helicopter to be used by all armed forces, first military trainer, first medevac helicopter, first helicopter to go to war, first commercial helicopter, first helicopter to reach 5,000 deliveries, First helicopter air mail delivery, first to spray cops. I can go on and on and on. It's just great to be here. It's my first time at Oshkosh. It just couldn't be better. I don't know how it could be better. The air shows are great. Everything, everything that goes on here is top notch. I wish my father was here with me. I sure miss him, but uh, we're still having fun. He'd be grinning from ear to ear to be here and see the MASH helicopter sitting here.